I just got back from the Lego store where they had some killer parts on their pick a brick wall. We have seen nothing but really poor parts on the pick a brick wall for I feel like the last at least year, but recently Lego has been really stepping up their game and Lego fans from around the world have been able to find some really cool and pretty amazing parts on the pick a brick wall as of lately. So I didn't miss a beat and I headed to my local Lego store where I picked up seven pick a brick cups. This is the first time I picked up more than one or two pick a brick cups in a really, really long time because the parts in these cups are absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to show you what parts I picked up in today's Pick a Brick Haul unboxing. Alright, so I've got seven Pick a Brick cups here and seven trays. It's time to dump these cups out and see exactly the parts I got. Alright, no particular order. I'm just going to open up these cups here. I got the very first one, cup number one. No idea. I was just piling parts in because I sat the Pick a Brick wall for so long. So I'm just going to dump dump this cup out here. So in this cup here it does look like I did get a variety of parts including some of these blue Lego supports. These one by one plates with studs on the side in purple. Some one by one tiles in white with the rounded, so they're like rounded tiles. One by one circle tiles in this light teal. This is another one by one plate with a stud on the side, but this one is like the inverted version of the purple one that I've already shown you. I got a bunch of these leaf pieces and I did stack a lot of them together just to save space in the cup and try and get as many parts as I could in there, but these are the leaf pieces in dark green which are really cool. I also picked up a few of the transparent yellow minifigure head as well as these really cool Spider-Man plates, this like the Spider-Man web frames. And finally the last part that I picked up in this cup is this one by one circle uh, stud here with the, the hole in the center. Alright, so that is all for the very first cup. You guys can see majority of it were definitely these supports and I try and fit as many small pieces in the cracks and crevices of the supports as I could and I was pretty successful there. All right let's take a look at the second cup here. This one is also just as filled with a bunch of different parts in it but it looks like there are some different parts in this cup here. Got some mini figure heads actually stuck at the bottom there. All right, so yeah, like you guys can see, I did pick up a bunch of the mini figure heads to kind of fill the bottom there. I got some more of the one by one studs with the circle in the center. I got some one by one tan plates here, just some regular tan plates. More of the one by one flesh with the stud on the side. I picked up a bunch of these one by four tiles in dark translucent blue. And then I picked a bunch of these one by four by three window panels and frames in teal. I've got a ton of these in white. I've made a bunch of buildings in the past with these in white, but this is the first time I've seen them on the pick a brick wall in teal. So I did pick up a bunch here. I honestly probably should have picked up a few more because I think I didn't, I don't think I grabbed enough to do a big building or a skyscraper or anything like that. Uh, but I also did pick up these one by one slash one by two bricks with that are like profile bricks or with really cool designs on them there so I'm a big fan of those. So again lots of cool parts from this cup here. Now let's take a look at what I picked up in the third pick a brick cup. This one was really taped up because the lid did not want to stay on and the employee did not want to sell it to me uh, but that is okay so we'll open it up here. This one's really cool because it looks like a lot of white, reds and blacks which is awesome but you guys can see the majority of the pieces in this cup are the light posts. I have no idea what I'm going to do with these light posts but there was they're just too cool to not get so I picked up as many really as would fit in the cup and I also used some smaller pieces to fill the cracks. I picked up a bunch of these one by one flowers in red which are really really cool. I also picked up a bunch of these one by one cheese slopes in black. Some more of the one by one round studs with the hole in the middle as well as the one by one rounded tile. And I also picked up a bunch of these one by two profile bricks in yellow. So these are the ones with the horizontal lines on one side and the vertical ones on the other. And I picked up these in a bunch of other cups as well. Uh, but that's mostly what I picked up. In this cup here, obviously the main attraction was trying to get dozens of these light posts. Now that the last few cups have been really exciting, I'm going to get into a little bit more of a boring cup. This one here is just one by two bricks. You guys can see one by two bricks all stacked all together there. So you actually just open this up. And you can see when I dump it out, barely any loose bricks actually fall out because I spent a lot of time at the Lego store strategically stacking these plates together. So there is a method online, which I've made videos on in the past and I'll also make a TikTok as well, but you can easily stack the bricks together to try and get way more bricks in the pick a brick cup than you would be able to if you just tossed a bunch of the two one by twos in. So I did stack this one with a majority of the one by two profile bricks in the flesh color. However, they did actually run into the brick bricks, so I did have to do 
my last little layer in a bit with these regular one by two, um, the profile bricks in yellow, which are still really cool. Just obviously I would have liked to have got a few more of these masonry bricks here, but unfortunately they had just run out by the time I got to filling the end of my cup because what I did was I, I filled this cup up with the these masonry bricks built all the structures and then I still had way more room for more so I was going back to the wall and unfortunately somebody else beat me while I was there but it just goes to show that I really I should have filled up a cup and a half of these bricks to get enough for each cup but it's okay because I still got some really cool parts. Continuing along the same theme as the last cup I have got the fifth cup here and this one is actually all brick bricks as well uh, with the exception of a few at the top so I did the exact same thing I just I didn't unfortunately get as many of the brick bricks as I could have wanted because I ran out uh, doing all the stacking method. But you guys can see here, I've got all the discs all together. And this method really, even though it takes some time, it really helps you get hundreds of brick bricks and things like that. And I honestly found it pretty worth it. I, I didn't have anything else to do that evening. So I figured I might as well be at the Lego store stacking bricks. All right, back to some more of the exciting cups here. I have got the sixth cup that we will be unboxing today. This one again, just a variety of different Lego parts on the inside here. So this one's really cool because I was able to fit a couple different parts in. So for starters, they had these slides on the pick a brick wall, which are in yellow and are amazing parts. They like stack together so you could make a really cool water slide or something like that. Good luck trying to fit these in a pick a brick cup. You guys could see I only was able to fit in four in this cup. I like stacked them together, tried to fill all the parts around them and stuff like that. But these were really difficult to try and fit in. But I just thought were a really interesting piece to include on the wall, but like really cool. I'll move them out of the way so you guys can get a better look at all the other parts here. But I did pick up some more of these one by four tiles in transparent dark blue, more of these yellow profile bricks. They had these really cool two by two slope pieces with a control panel on them, which I thought were really cool. It's like a control panel slash a cash register, so it looks pretty neat there. I picked up some more of the flowers here in the one by one, as well as some of the one by one tiles with the light teal on them there. I got this really cool, this is a vehicle piece. It's kind of like a trailer hitch, which is pretty neat looking. I love how that is. And then some more mini figure heads there as well. But obviously the main attraction of this cup were, were these really cool slides. And finally, last but not least, this is a cup the Lego store really didn't want to give me because I was, I got it all nicely packed in and then it buckled and the slides like popped out. You guys can see, spoiler alert, there are some more slides in there. I was trying to get a few more, but again, some more parts in here. This was the last cup that I packed and I could tell the LEGO store employee was getting a little annoyed with me, so I decided I would head out after this one. But you guys can see tons of parts included here. So I did pick up a few more of the slides, which again, really cool pieces. So I thought I got uh, eight, I guess I only got seven of them in total. I picked up some more of the blue support pieces here. I threw in some one by eight tiles in white just to get some more space in. They had these really cool rods that are in transparent, like just transparent clear. These ones are cool for like staging minifigures and stuff like that. I haven't seen these on the wall in a while and they're like perfectly clear. So I picked up a bunch of those. I got some of the railing pieces. I think I've got these in past, but just thought I'd throw them in there. And then I did get a bunch of these, these uh, door pieces. So unfortunately they didn't have the frames or anything like that for them, but I thought the door pieces were still pretty cool. So I, while I saw them on the wall, I picked up half a dozen or a dozen or so there just to get them. I also picked up some of these tan teeth pieces because those are cool detail parts. And I think that's all the different parts. And yeah, the mini figureheads if I didn't already show you those ones. But again, just some more miscellaneous parts to try and fill the cup around some of these support pieces and these slides. So there you guys have it. These are all of the different parts that I was so fortunate enough to be able to pick up at the pick -a brick wall the last time I went to the Lego store. You guys can see here with all seven cups dumped out, I really was able to get a large variety of parts that I'll be able to add to my Lego collection and do some building with. So I'm very, very excited there. It just goes to show that once Lego does actually put parts on the wall that Lego fans like and enjoy, we will come out and we will buy them in numbers. I probably, if, even if they didn't run at a stock of the masonry bricks, I had prepared to buy two or three cups of each color. Unfortunately, they did limit to one just so everybody could get enough, which I guess I am thankful for because if they didn't do that, they would have run out by the time I got there considering I wasn't able to even fill one cup. But you guys can see there were lots of other really cool parts on the wall there, which is really, really awesome. I hope that Lego definitely takes notice and looks at the sales from this last week or these last two weeks and be like, wow, people are buying pick a brick parts like crazy. We should keep the inventory good because when they're just basic boring bricks, nobody buys pick a brick. But then when they have parts like this, it's just so easy to go out and buy several cups at a time because now I've got lots of great parts to do some building with 
and I'll try to be making things and updates and buildings and all that fun stuff for my LEGO city. So very, very excited to get all these parts here and add them to my collection. So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Stay tuned because I've got lots more videos coming soon, and I will be sorting all these pick-a-brick parts, and you guys will not want to miss that. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.